Sponsors in the business. Thanks. Ready? Hey, we're going to take it to Milwaukee, okay? We have our premier sponsor, One Tinley Park, our very own mayor of Tinley Park, to Mayor Glutz, to One Tinley Park, to all of our sponsors who help us make this happen today. Let's have a great day. Prost! We're going to do a country western polka. Mayor, is that sort of a German tradition? There are a lot of toasting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're just trying to have fun. All right, and everybody looks forward to this time of year, especially in Tenley Park. Can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah, can you hear me? Uh, you know, let's step over here. in the background. Make sure you get Sully in there. Absolutely. The trustee Sully. Uh, I like the Crimson Tide Thank as well. Thank you. I'm representing Bama today. So. Okay, that's all right. Okay, Half of my family's in Alabama, so we got it. Hopefully there's a victory. Okay. Uh, another year, 2023. Another great uh, Irish Fest, I must call it. October Fest. What are your thoughts today? That was great. We hope the rain holds off. We, had a, we were jam-packed last night. There was a lot of people. We couldn't keep enough beer in the coolers. They were selling out, they were selling out like crazy. All the all the uh, vendors were selling out. So it was a great day yesterday. The word's out on the street all the time. They love the food vendors here. They love everything that Tinley Park offers and the Bremen Tinley tradition of the of the German connection. Yeah, it does. Winston does a great job. They yes. have some of the best German food. And we got Durbin's there. They do an excellent job. Then we got Pierre Stuba behind us to the yes. right from Mokina, Jeff Klaus. You have some of the best microbreweries around, you know. We do. We and we started an ale trail that came out of the marketing department from Trustee Colleen Sullivan because they're so popular, so we can get more people down to there. We have a trolley that goes up to all six of them oh, every, oh, nice. every Wednesday. It's a great marketing tool. Yeah, and it was so. Business too for the breweries on a Wednesday, where it might be a little bit slow. So yeah, uh, the response has been really good from okay. the breweries. So. You know, I'm remiss. We're having a good conversation here. This is Mayor Plus. Everybody, I hope you know okay. that. And I'm Trustee Colleen Sullivan. Okay, terrific. It, Go ahead. Mayor. It was going so well. Trust, uh, Trustee Colleen Sullivan went to staff, asked, asked if they could extend it. They extended it what another two months? Ago. Until the end of October. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Absolutely, it's a huge success. And a lot of the breweries are currently having Oktoberfest specials and everything, so I encourage everyone to go visit the local breweries around town. A lot of food specials, a lot of drink specials, so they have a lot to offer this month. Well, before we walk away and, and revel in this great day, uh, there's a lot of excitement on the streets, Mayor, about Harmony Plaza. And can you give us a, a snapshot of what's next? Yeah, Harmony Square, so and good question. No um, we are going to start construction in November. Excellent. And the townhomes are looking to start digging foundations in uh, end of October, November as well. And we're hoping to have the, um, we went out for RFQ for the corner for the T-Hands construction. Sure. It's just not safe. And um, we're going to replicate the building. Excellent. So we can keep that old Irish the historical bar. historical downtown look there, yes. T-Hands is like and our then, cheers, right? Yeah, Everyone knows your name. No. They all, have, they, all have, they all have their own seats, they all have their own tables. This is so and true. So, and, and everyone in there knows everyone. Yes. So they're, we're going to replicate that building so we can keep that t hands name and the, okay. and the old Irish tradition and nostalgia. Which, which is beautiful because it matches the architecture of the downtown district there. So. Absolutely. Like Ed and Joe's across the street. Absolutely. They did a beautiful job. They replicated to the old hotel back from, what, 150, 60 years ago? At least, yeah. And then Holstein's did the same thing. If you look at the front of their building, it looks just like it did 150 years ago. Excellent. And so we're going to do the same thing with the tea hands. We're going to keep it the same as it was. Okay. Again, everybody's so excited about it. And hats off to you guys. You're moving forward with it very meticulously uh, to make sure it gets done right and the right way the first time. So my hat's off to you. Well, thank you. We are. We're looking to close um, on the LOI for 191st in Harlem. Okay. We uh, went out and got a uh, two big major players to go in that corner. It's a little... It's a little tricky with the uh, uh, with the wetlands and some of the waterways, 
but luckily we have the best engineers around. We have Christopher Burke and Robinson Engineering. They found a way for us to develop that land that no one's been able to develop over the last 20 years. So hopefully in the next month we'll be announcing that as well. Okay, a lot of exciting things as we go into 2024. Absolutely, and, and if you if you drive down Harlem, you see that uh, Pete's Fresh Market. Yes. They're putting their uh, footings and foundations in now. They're hoping to have an opening of next year. Okay. And Amazon has contacted us back. They're looking to uh, go back in there. Fresh Star or something? Yes, yeah, Amazon. Yeah, landing right now, so there was a little bit of delay with them. Yeah, they got, they got their, so many hands in the fire for yeah. Amazon. They got, they you know do. what I mean? Yeah. A lot of projects on deck all over. So they're looking to do uh, some reconstruction in there to do a little rebranding, like they did in uh, Oakland at 95th and Pulaski. Right. Okay. So they're doing the same thing now. Excellent. Well, I don't want to keep you guys anymore. No, okay. This we is can a day of festivity. We can talk, like talk all we day. We can talk all day about it. We just, I don't know if you saw, we had that huge uh, grand opening, what, about a month and a half ago for the Loyola, that big Loyola facility. Yes, okay, I heard about it. I was kind of pushing that there. 179th in LaGrange, that was another big one that we brought in. We, we got, we lured them from Orland. Okay, uh, so there they you built go. that big campus. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, no, we're really excited. No, it, uh, your, your marketing of, of your village is second to none. Thank you. Everything that happens on Oak Park Avenue from the benches to the cruise nights during the summer, it's just, it's top notch. And it's, people really love it. Yeah, they do. And, it's, and it starts from having a unified board and great staff, right? And, and the, the, our staff works so hard to help us implement all these ideas. You know, from our village manager down all the way through our marketing director, Donna Framke, and you know, and just in our unified command team, right? Our police department, our fire department, our first responders, our EMA, they're the ones that do all the planning for us to keep and make sure that we stay safe. And, and like the Rip Fest was very successful, this was successful yesterday. And so we're very lucky, we have a great team. And I was gonna say, all of you have a passion for what you do. Yes, well we are and, 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 and it shows through. <laughs> it's totally, totally. So you believe you. in you believe in your concept. We do. And you, you, it's just bring it forward. It shows every time. Well, thank you. Listen, thank you. I don't want to keep you anymore, but thank you. Roast. Is there a traditional? Do a cheer. Is that it? Roast. Uh, roast. roast. Okay, <laughs> folks. If you did, please. If you didn't make it this year, you got to try this. There's nothing like uh, Oktoberfest in Tenley Park. Cheers. Roast. Cheers. Roast. <laughs> thank you. Hey guys, I'm here at uh, Stahl at Oktoberfest. We're going to walk out and uh, sneak up on James and Brothership Brewing and see how this goes. If you see this, it went kind of well. If you don't see this, I don't know what the hell happened. We're here with Brothership Brewing and uh, Jimmy Oruzzo. I Please tell me he wasn't running that in that room. <laughs> I want that take. Give me that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the selfie out of the out of the porta potty. We're at Oktoberfest. It's always a barrel of laughs and a barrel of beer as well. And we just ran upon a uh, brewery from Mokina that just exciting to hear about. And we're gonna let them tell you about it. And here they are. First of all, we have. Hey, Dan Taylor. Dan. Uh, Rod Hodge. Rod. Okay. We've now landed a micro ship brewery. <laughs> yeah. I have to ask. The concept of that name. Anyway, jump in, guys. Whatever way you want to go. Uh, the brothership name it comes from um, where we start making the beers at. We used to call it the mothership. Okay. Um, they thought that our two brewers looked alike as brothers, so we start calling it brothership, <laughs> and that's where we're at now, guys. And this is how great names and brands come to fruition. Basically, right? basically, yes. Um, I'm sure it's even nicer now that the aliens are real, right? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Our real. stock has just been going up. For real. As oh, a matter yeah. of fact, next year maybe you can bring a little gray with you. Oh yeah. With big eyes. And you're like, a new partner. Who knows? Exactly, exactly. Or he might have an idea on a brew. I don't know. But speaking of brews, what what uh, October type brews do you have going on today? So this year uh, we brought out our uh, best beer. Um, in the tap room we also have a Martin available. Uh, both beers are completely appropriate for Oktoberfest. The uh, Martin being a little bit maltier. Um, the best beer is absolutely appropriate though for the. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that Sorry. Was, that was, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. No, no, you're good. The fest beer is great. The Marzen's wonderful. Uh, if you like that malty, hoppy, Oktoberfest punch, Brothership, we're, we're putting go. it down to Brothership. Now, when you guys were with Mothership, 
uh, how long ago was that and how long have you been sort of like uh, um, brewers? Well, we have been, our tap room has been open for the last three years. We're going on about our fourth year now. Okay, terrific. Indeed, uh, we're right over, we're located right over in Mokina. Yeah, you're like um, We're neighbors. very, very close. Okay. Indeed. Um, this is our first time here at the Killing Park Oktoberfest, um, but we're looking to kill it. We had a good time yesterday and we'll be out here all weekend. Okay. Uh, boss, you want to do a quick sample here and give them the I thumbs do, up? Yeah. Okay, Sorry, we're going to. Of we're course gonna, I do. <laughs> We're gonna switch cameras, and oh. I'm gonna throw you the mic. Nice. So this will be the fest beer we're trying. Indeed. Nice. Two tries today. Oh, that's what I love. Right now, you're my favorite brewer over here. So this right here is our fest beer. Um, so we're talking the Oktoberfest hops, Oktoberfest malts and grains. Um, this is the lighter version of what we have. Uh, what we have to offer. We also have a Marzen in our tap room. So if you like the fest beer, you'll also enjoy our Marzen as well. Nice. Give it a go, man. Right, let's go. Is he oh, yeah. drinking it too fast or is he just enjoying There's it? This thing is too fast. I was going to say, you can never drink beer too fast. Donka Shane, that was very good. I like that. I'm starting to like this October season. Oh, well, that's a chugger. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. No. What, what is this? Okay. Now, that is our Moscow Mule Seltzer. Um, we have made several varieties under the classified name, but the Moscow Mule is our newest one and everyone's loving it. Okay. And I'm supposed to chug it, you say? Well, I mean, well, no. I'm not going to say you have to, but... I, it, but, but people enjoy doing it on occasion. That's all their own personal preference. If it was me, I would chug it, sure. <laughs> <laughs> that's, not a, that's not a challenge. Let's do a half chug here. here Woo. Oh, yeah. That's good. I could tell you, I'll be bringing my girlfriend out to Brothership <laughs> Brewing after having that one. Hello. That's awesome, Thank man. You. Glad you enjoyed it. Thank you. Any concluding statements at this year's Oktoberfest? Uh, we're happy to be here. Um, this is uh, very limited on what we have to offer. We truly make beer for everybody and every palate. So uh, come on down and enjoy yourself. Bring the kids. Have a great time at Brothership Brewing. Have a good time at Tilly Park Oktoberfest. There you go. Uh, there let's you go. do it. I'm glad you mentioned about bringing the kids. Do you have a food menu and everything as well? Um, we have we have snacks on site, but we actually encourage people to grab food and then bring it in. Uh, so we don't have any. Very uh, cool. Yeah, we don't have a kitchen on site, but you know we're very much family oriented. Bring the kids. Bring the family. Have a gay old time with everybody and you know drink some beers have some food make some new friends and hey maybe uh we'll find some aliens while we're out there <laughs> i like it you know ac variety will definitely be stopping into brothership brewing on that note let me chug the rest of this and you have a great Oktoberfest. cheers guys Okay, one of the great things we love at AC Variety every year when we do this Oktoberfest is the bill of fares of most of these, not only food vendors, but the breweries are out of sight. We just walked up on Arrowhead Ales. It's a brewing company. We're going to find out more about it and to get an introduction going. And your name, sir? John. John and? Tina. Tina. Okay, uh, love your logo and stuff like that. Kind of tell us how long Arrowhead Ales has been around and, and uh, the kind of brewing you do. Arrowhead Ales opened in uh, April of 2016, so they've been around for almost seven and a half years now. Okay, and that's at, at New Lenox? At New Lenox, okay. off of Cedar and Laraway. Excellent. Yep. Um, we brew up quite a variety of beer, um, light lagers, up to stouts, imperial stouts. So yeah, a nice variety for everybody to enjoy. Sure, I'm going to ask a quick question. Were, were you ever a, like a bathtub brewer before you got into this as a brewery? Well, yeah, craft brewer 
Yeah. That's where it all starts is home brewing. You got it. You know, every okay. crafter started out as a home brewer. So you start from there and you just kind of build up from there and eventually, you know, if you're lucky enough, you get to have your own restaurant brewery. Okay. Uh, so you have a restaurant as well with, with this brewery? Craft beers and craft food. Yes. Wow. Uh, hats off to you on that because a lot of breweries, strictly, they either do the food trucks or you bring your own in there. You know, it's my hats a, off to you guys for that. It's a full family restaurant. Uh, we also do craft cocktails as well. Wow. Impressive. And that brings us to what are we offering today for the public right here at this Oktoberfest? We got our 1810 Oktoberfest, oh, okay. a traditional Marzen beer, a Cosmic Gator, a nice hoppy, hazy uh, IPA, and the Raspberry Vagrant, which is a sour beer. That's interesting. Uh, I am, I'm tempted to throw him in it. He's, he's our beer connoisseur. He's also the owner of AC Variety. Would you like to, of the three things he just mentioned, would you like to do a quick taste of something? Would I be able to try Cosmic? Absolutely. Okay, it's down. Here it comes. <laughs> We're going to switch equipment here. <laughs> You're a lovely clump here in the year 2023. My, how does time fly, especially since it's a pandemic, am I right? Yes. <laughs> Ooh, awesome. cosmic. I like it. So this is a hazy Indian pale ale. I'll be honest, I wasn't a big fan of IPAs until like the past two years all of a sudden. What's the difference from like a regular beer, would you say, if someone goes to the store to pick something up? Well, this has more of the hop flavor. Um, all the hops are late edition hops, so that contributes to the haze. And it gives it like a nice heavy mouthfeel, a nice juicy flavor to it, to the beer. And this, is, this is good. It's extremely favor flavorful. Sorry, I got to work on my pronunciation there. I've been off the camera for a little while. But you also mentioned you're from New Lenox. How did you find out about this fest in the first place? We were actually here last year. Um, Mike, the owner, keeps in contact with everybody in the beer industry and finds out about these fests, and here we are. We love the communication. I'm actually from Monee, and we'd love to see some of the people from farther south come up here, so it's great to see people from New Lenox. Any concluding statements this year? Enjoy some great beer, and prost. Exactly. Prost. <laughs> Thank you. And to that, we prost. Thank you to Arrowhead Ales. Turn on a wave to the camera. Okay. Okay, I am so excited. We caught up with one of the busiest people here at Oktoberfest, and we're going to let him introduce himself as soon as he catches his breath because he had to run <laughs> over here. And he is, go for it, buddy. Uh, my name is Don Macaluso, and I'm the current president of the Tinley Park Chamber of Commerce. Okay. Did you have a couple of sleepless nights before this thing rolled out today, yesterday and as we go into this weekend? Yeah, you know, I, I definitely, it was on my mind for a while, but um, <laughs> our committee that planned this and put, put this together, sure. as well as our office staff, Phenomenal people. They know this event inside and out, and uh, I mean, they made my job very easy. Okay. I uh, I just kept an eye on things, but th every time I'd ask them, "Hey, how are things going? Do you need me to help?" No, we got it. It's all taken care of. So wow. it was. Can ask for more than that. No, no, it was Amen. fantastic. There, yeah. Amen. Hey, my uh, my hats off to you to the amount of vendors that you have here, yeah. food vendors, and as well as your crafty type stuff. It's very impressive. Yeah, that's. The, the craft vendors is something that we've been trying to pull in more of. Okay. Um, and now, this is towards the end of the year for a lot of festivals, so a lot of craft vendors have used up their planned marketing budget for going to festivals. Yeah. But, yeah, right. uh, no, uh, our office staff was really good about pulling in vendors. We were ha we had calls all week before this event, uh, people trying to get in. And no we kidding. Were that is a good spaces. sign. Yeah. So next year, we're hoping uh, to bring in more craft vendors, try and see if we can allocate more space. Okay. Uh, I can't promise that's what's going to happen, but uh, yeah, it's definitely on our minds for next year. No, okay, and I'm, I'm uh, again get back to the vendors real fast. Uh, their their uh, uh, merchandise out there is all fall related or uh, Halloween related, which is super for this event. Yeah, no, I was uh, I got an eye of those um, propane tank pumpkins over there. <laughs> it's a unique unique little spin artists on artists them. find art in the artist places and people buy it. So <laughs> yeah, for sure. And I wouldn't be I would be remiss if I didn't mention this. What's in my hand right here, the, a selection of beer at this festival is second to none to any Oktoberfest anywhere I know in the Midwest. How do you do it? Well, that, a lot of that is thanks to partly our connections with some of the distributors, but really it's our local 
brewers. Okay. Uh, which yeah. generally has surprisingly a, a, a nice amount we do. in and around the area. Yeah, no, we have, uh, our, our local brewers are fantastic, the ones we have out here. Uh, we've got a few from some of the surrounding towns as well that still influence the Tinley Park community sure, that are yeah. just down the street. Uh, and every time we see them come out, they're very eager. They've always got something new they want to show off. Uh, so that's that's what I've been. I've checked in with a lot of them. They said, "Oh, we got this new one this year. We're trying this. A lot of people love this." Apparently, some uh, some tips going up. <laughs> what has just happened behind us? Uh, so that that is most likely uh, some Are cheering you you're hearing from uh, tips to our, our volunteer bartenders back okay. here. Uh, those tips that go towards funding the. Uh, Tinley Park Chamber of Commerce gives out scholarships every year that is to some local high school cause. students. Yeah, so we we do our best to fund that from uh, some of the money that comes from our events. Because okay. uh, being a, a not-for-profit organization, sure. uh, we're not here trying to use the tips money to fill our you know gas no, tanks. No, no, I know, I know. It's, give it back it's out. A, a charitable cause. And yeah. again, everything out here is so well thought out. My hats off to you. It's uh, not not only the layout of, of the grounds and the ample seating for your patrons yeah but uh it just uh the selection of food as well yeah our food vendors uh they seem to be in a competition every year to see who can <laughs> yeah. who can really step it up who can have a great presence uh and this year i mean as you look around you see well that looks good look at their setup but look at that look at that and i yeah. just want to go try it all sure uh our food vendors are are fantastic as well yeah you know, I am. I, I thought by now we would be interrupted because this this gentleman <laughs> had to take a radio off to sp spend a few minutes with him talk with us. So we, I think out of conscience, I'm going to let him go because I'm sure his radio, which is over <laughs> on the counter behind us, is going nuts. So yeah, no, we appreciate Th thoughts though. Out. Thoughts for uh, this season and next. Uh, yeah, well, uh, one we want to thank the community for coming out. There you go. Uh, that's this is the reason we do it. It's for the the families that come out. They come out and enjoy the carnival. They have some food. They listen to some music. Uh, thank all of our volunteers and our our staff members at the office, our committee. They do so much work, put in all the hours, more than we could ever ask of them, uh, and they do it with a smile on their face. Uh, and and then the village for the things they help us out with, uh, the public works helps us out getting the the ground secured, uh, fencing and public safety, having medical ready, police and fire, police and fire. Uh, they are just completely vigilant all over this event and doing a fantastic job. And they work very closely with us during the planning, uh, and they've been wonderful to work with okay again hats off to you for another great event we look forward to next year and thank you for spending the time with us because like, his, his time is precious guys <laughs> all right stay with us we got more coming from oktoberfest 2023 right here in Stanley park uh oh we got to turn around <laughs> and, with the boss uh, here <laughs> i understand your favorite brewer is hailstorm which is actually right here right yeah hailstorm so, they as i was closing up last night helping get the event secured okay. uh and end of the night uh they kindly reminded me hey they still had a couple kegs that they hadn't closed off the taps on oh so. that's a good reminder yeah that is that is a very nice nice gesture on their part so i appreciate that for that hey james why don't we uh stop over there next we're gonna go talk to hailstorm <laughs> Thank okay. you, sir. Take care. Have a good one. Enjoy the event. You too. All right. Great thing. Oh, and they're open. <laughs> you want to switch off or you want me to go? Hi. Hello. Hi. Uh, we heard you guys in Hailstorm, you guys sing a cappella or something. So. <laughs> Just by do, a do we have the no. wrong brewery? Is that <laughs> we, we just got tipped off by the chamber. You guys were like, you know, knocking crazy. it out of the park. I, they're drinking too much already. They were part of the tap. Obviously, okay. been at Hailstorm too long, and I, I just got a little Hailstorm bee uh, <laughs> landing on. But every, all the breweries have bees uh, today. Yeah, no, so. right, right. It goes with the with the, the turf. The party's been going a little bit. The bees are here. The bees are here. And we're gonna find out two of the major players at Hailstorm that are really partying down here too. So. <laughs> And this gentleman first, your name? Gage. Gage and? Jess. Jess. I was kidding them around earlier about doing some acapella, but we're not going to stick to that. <laughs> Unless they have a few more of these steins, and then I think maybe, you know. No, no. Uh, okay, it's not It's not in their wheelhouse, guys. But tell us a little bit about Hailstorm. Uh, we've go, been going on for almost 10 years now. Great. Uh, it should be 10 years in June. Yeah. Yeah. 10 years in June, next June. Uh, yeah, going okay. strong, I'd say. 
Okay. And uh, what type of brews do you guys like concentrate in? Or? Um, well, shoot from IPAs, stouts, and then we have a wonderful American lager that's extremely popular, wow. and a red okay. ale. So uh, we have a lot going on in the tap room, and our patios popping. So we still got good season for it. I had heard you guys on the street. You have a lot of regulars that come in that just they know the product that Hailstorm brings to the table, and you guys are off the top. I mean. So, I mean, your thoughts on that? Thank, um, that's wonderful to hear. We are family friendly as well, so that's great and to hear in Tinley that we got that reputation going. Thank you. And it brings us to, I, I'm looking at a bunch of taps on here. You have the, by far the biggest selection we've seen so far for this event. <laughs> kind of tell us what you got going on. Yeah, uh, so we've got our Oktoberfest. We've okay. got our Big Beautiful Week, that's our Hefeweizen. Hotel Wife, our American Lager. Key Lime Cheesecake Pastry Sour. We've got Prey Madness, that's our flagship IPA. Gold okay. Award winner, 2017 JBF. I've got uh, Strawberry Summer, Strawberry Lemon Kolsch. We've got our Alt Beer, and then uh, another October. <laughs> At this point, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask the boss here, but you... <laughs> He's our taste test guy. If you could give, I just, I just, secure, do you, everything that sounded so good. Do you have a? Do you have a? Do you have a? Uh, let's not turn this camera over. Ah, okay. <laughs> as soon as he said cheesecake, my mouth started watering. I gotta do the cheese. Oh, I know. I saw you looking. Wow. Look at these lines for you over here. I heard cheesecake. I know he did. It is extremely popular. Yeah. It's, it tastes like key lime pie in your mouth. So, okay. I hope you cheesecake? Know. You said key lime pie. Yeah. Of course, well, it's got to be cheesecake. Don't eat key lime unless it's cheesecake. Sounds good. I'm going to have a sip here and let your customer go up while I drink this here. Okay. okay. Wow. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, we're you're not going to believe this. I mean, you're not going to believe this. This tastes like key lime pie. How are they able to get these type of flavors into this thing? <laughs> I don't know where I've been these past three, four years during COVID-19, whatever. <laughs> That's true. How do you get this flavor? This is amazing. This is like the best beer I've ever had. If Will, our brewery, was here right now, he would be able to tell you. I don't know what he does with the science of that beer, but... Uh, yeah, it is awesome. It is, that is our fest beer too. Like anytime we bring it to a fest, it's always killed first. It's a great beer. Well, you're doing a dang good job over there, and we're definitely gonna have to stop in. Do we have permission to stop in with the Ace? Oh yeah, could you talk about the strawberry? The strawberry, the key, the key lime is cheesecake in a glass. I don't know the wizardry that goes on. What he have? Will the wizard? I we don't ask questions. We just. We Do we have permission to stop in someday with our cameras to find out? Yes. yes. That's all we need, legal consent over here. Thank you very much. We will be seeing you soon at Hailstorm Brewing in Chinley Park. Hang on, they're, still, they're, they're, they're bearing up, they're bearing up. Wait a minute. Say so your name is Jim? Yes. I'm Bill. Bill? Yeah, nice to meet you. Matt. Matt? Yeah. Matthew, that's good. There he is. Show all these Catholic on this side of right? <laughs> we're, uh, we're distributing some brew right here when we, we ran into Bill and Matt here. And, a couple of regular guys. Uh, oh, yeah, a couple of regular guys. A couple of regular guys, the South Side guys. You know what I mean? Cheers so uh, we're gonna they're gonna do a little taste here. They just they just said a little taste of brew, and we're gonna ask them their opinion. Hailstorms of Oktoberfest and and Hailstorm. Hailstorm. Yeah, we talked to fantastic. them uh, as well. But okay, we'll let Matthew go first. First of all, what kind of day are you having today, buddy? It's a fantastic day. It's Oktoberfest. Okay. It's, it's a Saturday, right? Saturday, yeah. We gotta remind Matt it was Saturday. It's pretty good. That's a good day if you gotta remind me it's Saturday. No, this is fantastic. Music is amazing. Yes. We've very got period, uh, correct. how many how many brews can you get? I can get a Bavarian pretzel anywhere? In every booth? Everybody has pretzels? It's fantastic. I love this place. I got I got the ask kids over there. Oh yeah, have the a ride. Yeah. No, the kids are doing the rides. I get a break from the kids to do my brew. <laughs> That's where you buy right break. There. Yeah. It's wonderful. I gotta ask you this, uh, Matt. Uh, when you get the pretzel, do you put a little cheese on that pretzel or mustard? Mustard, mustard only. Mustard only. Mustard only, man. Come okay. on. Southside. 
mustard only. You put mustard on a hot sauce, mustard on a hot dog, mustard on mustard. Always mustard. <laughs> only mustard. And don't let anybody forget that. All right. Matt, one time a few years ago, saw a guy putting ketchup on a hot dog. Oh. It didn't, didn't turn out well. Oh, it was bad. It was bad. <laughs> it was bad. It was bad. It was bad. It was bad. It's anger. <laughs> Just anger. It's just, we got the same red hair thing going on. Yeah, here. yeah, the yeah. Irish it's, thing. It's just you understand. Mine is turning you gray. Understand but, the, <laughs> the anger that goes with that. It's one of those things. I'm looking to jump over to his partner who's been standing here, going, "Give me a break." <laughs> yeah. And yeah, who do we? Oh, oh we have an assistant here. Okay. No, it's just Sorry, a little cousin, Ariana. Oh, you're, you're on video right now. Let's get, let's get everybody in there real That's fast. Okay, okay. Aren't you guys glad? Aren't you glad you walked up now? We're gonna get some first names real fast. We have ignored this man twice now. All right. It's all good. And we have a. Did you win that? Yeah. That is awesome. And that. That is awesome. And what's your first name? Ariana. Beautiful name. And you. Uh, you're gonna have to say it again because the trumpet player um, is blue. Nuts. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Nuts. We got Cole over here. Cole. Taylor over here. Okay, and Scotty. All right. Is there this is. crew all with you there, man? This or is what? my crew. This is my crew right okay. here. Okay, all right. Absolutely. <laughs> Best looking crew here? I've seen in a while. Yeah. And while you're interacting with your crew, I'm gonna jump over here. Oh, oh, get yourself a beer. <laughs> yeah. What's up, Jim? I don't know what to say after all this. I know, right? This man has been patiently waiting. Everybody, uh, we're patient. expecting aunts and uncles to come walking up. Right. All of a sudden. Yeah, I understand you're related to everybody Yeah, as well. pretty much, yeah. So. I know a lot of people around this area. Okay. Uh, How this, far back do you go back around here? Uh, since I was born, about 36 years ago. Okay. <laughs> no. But when it comes to Oktoberfest, I mean, a couple years ago, they had Rocktoberfest in downtown yes. Tinley. Yes. And, uh, oh, my God, I, think I was do like, remember yeah, that. Yeah, I think it was like four or five years ago they switched over to Tinley Oktoberfest here yeah, at the train station. Yeah, yeah, uh, big, it's been a, Bigger venue here. Yeah, it's oh, a, it's great. I love this event. I've been coming every year. Uh, took my next question is to say how many <laughs> how many events have you made so far? Uh, every year. Every okay. year they have Oktoberfest, okay. I'm here. I got to say, as we're waiting to do this interview, people will come out. Everybody knows this yeah. guy. It, is there a secret there somewhere? Uh, just, just a big just family. Large family. Or? Yeah, networking, yeah. I work for a company called Mattress Firms. I mean, we sell mattresses. Okay, okay. And I network in the community all the okay, time. And okay. Tom McNulty is my uncle as well. Okay, ex extra firm over here. Too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, anyhow, your thoughts today at October 5th? It's a great day. I mean, a okay. uh, little overcast skies right now, but um, I think the rain will hold off. It's okay. a great event. I was over on the carnival rides. Okay. With called my little cousins. They almost there, cute. There you go. They almost cute. Yeah, but... some of those rides are intense. They are. You know, for little Especially ones. the spinny ones. <laughs> yeah. I, I stay away from them. Yeah. I'll tell you that, I had so. my gun godson on the one of them. Okay. He was just sitting there gripping my hand with like a death grip. De death grip. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. That's it was a uh, yeah, great event. Love this event. I'll keep coming every year. Okay. Yeah. And I know you enjoy the brew, so I'm not even yeah, going to go there. Yeah, for sure. But uh, one uh, last question before I walk shout away. Shout out the hailstorm. Yeah, hailstorm. Shout out for sure. Uh, we mentioned the brew, but uh, are you sort of a beer and brat kind of guy too? Or? Yeah, I am. Okay. I love brats. Because there's a Mustard. lot of traditional German cuisine yeah. here today. The Klaus. Is the Klaus here? Yeah, the I Klaus believe is he is. Yeah. Other, we haven't talked to him yeah. yet, but he's here. The beer stube. Yeah. One of my favorite yeah. places. Yeah, for sure. You got Winston's over there. A lot of good that. food. A lot of good food. It. Dude, I'm going to grab a hand at this point. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. He patiently waited <laughs> his turn for the interview, you know, and, and it was worth it. So. Well, if I can give one more shout out for Project Fire Buddies, another yes. great organization. Okay, good. We're going to ask uh, them to do a spin around. Another, another great An organization. Extraordinary organization yeah. throughout the, the Midwest, yeah. as yep. well as our area yeah. here. They have almost 60 chapters, or just over 60 chapters right. now. Right, right. They uh, do extraordinary things. Yeah. Look into that, folks. Yeah. It is really, really yeah. worth your time and money. Yep, head over to Facebook, Instagram, give them a like, a share great organization you got it okay at that we're going to continue walking around right here at 2023 oktoberfest in tenley park thanks again jim you got it Let's move on in mom is this a usual day this is chasing her around <laughs> okay the energy level is like off the top yes it is <laughs> how, old, how old is uh, she now she is 13 months okay wow yep get ready for the terrible two yes, yes. is this your first one or second this one this is my first okay okay <laughs> uh i she's already got this, one she, yes i <laughs> three of them i might add as well <laughs> and i'm sorry her name your name rylan and i'm caitlin Okay, fine Irish names I might have too. Okay, she's on her way back. Okay. Oh 
and we're gonna jump to this side. Uh, can we take ownership on any of these other children here? <laughs> right. I am Alan is four and okay. Jack is two. Okay. Uh, I just uh, admire the way they are, are carefully watching out for Rylan as she's walking down the road. Yeah. And even when she falls on her padded butt, uh, it's, <laughs> they pick her right up again. One of the great things about this fest is the food, and one of the great things about Tinley Park Food Fest is Winston's. We're going to take a break real fast and talk to one of the purveyors here. And your name? My name is Ian Winston. Ian Winston. Okay, so we got the real deal. Yep. Okay, how long have you guys been around now? Uh, we had the the market for about like 25 years, and we had the wow. uh, or we had the restaurant for about 25 years. The, the market itself has probably been around for like over 30 at this point. Okay. Mm. And still a family operation. Yep. At the moment, the my dad, Mike Winston, he owns all the business there. Okay. Then I have my uh, uncle Jerry. He owns the one down on 63rd. Okay. Mm. And, and so, I've just been uh, helping out, you know. Oh with yeah. The fest. I mean, there's plenty to do, and mm. I uh, I might add, uh, way beyond Southside Irish, you guys have all kind of clientele coming in your your, oh, yeah. your establishment. We get people from literally all over, especially during the holidays. We get people from like Wisconsin coming down to buy like. Brand. This is what I've heard. That's why I threw that out there. Yeah. Uh, you've got out of towners. Your reputation is really advanced which kind of brings us to this Oktoberfest what are you guys offering today as far as traditional dishes or um, we, we got a little bit of mix of Irish and German stuff we got Smart like move. we got the uh, Irish uh, Reuben it's got corned beef sauerkraut that is delicious that is oh great. yeah it's one of our best things and then yeah. we also got the, the uh, schnitzel with uh, bread and pork tenderloin some go. red cabbage on there on a pretzel bun yeah, the stuff is really good. Okay. Yeah, we also have, we only do this at the fest here, but we only have, we have German egg rolls. Wow, um, tell us about that. The, well, oh, I forgot what's in there. Smoked sausage, sauerkraut, Swiss cheese, and a little bit of apple. Interesting recipe. Yeah, we only do that during this fest though, so come okay. and get it while you can. And, yeah. uh, we, Smart move too. We normally do the Irish egg roll, which is like corned beef, cabbage, cheddar cheese. Yeah. We okay, sell that at the well. market all year round. Yeah. Yeah. So, no, yeah. I appreciate you stepping up. I know I pulled you away from the Oh, yeah, you're good, man. He started doing any, wherever there's a low spot, whether it's on the grill or waiting on a customer, he's there. You know? yeah, I got to be everywhere. It's all part of being a Winston, right? Mm -hmm. You got to be doing every job, even the jobs you didn't know you had. <laughs> <laughs> you know, at this point, I'm going to grab a hand. Thank you so much for stepping up. No problem. Thanks we for We appreciate coming. you at this fest, and we appreciate your restaurant out, out on 159th. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Glad to be here. You okay. <laughs> Thanks. Have a good one. You too. Okay, we're gonna go right next door to. I, I'm seeing like a lot of skull and crossbones here. It is a brewery uh, sound fest, I believe it's called. Uh, we're gonna find out more about what this is all about. Uh, it's an interesting brewery, nonetheless. A lot of skeletons, though. We'll, we'll see what's going on. Hey folks, I was just looking at the logo on these growlers out in front. Mm -hmm. Kind of scared me. Is that your regular thing? Is that, that is. This isn't a Halloween thing. This is the way you guys roll. Yeah. Halloween all year long. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, well, let's get some names here. You are? I'm Rachel. Rachel, terrific. And Elise. Elise, beautiful name. Okay, uh, we were talking off camera and we're not going to go that direction, but we understand Elise has really got a thing for history. <laughs> <laughs> She's laughing already, uh, but we're not gonna go there in this interview, you know, unless it gets it gets dark. Yeah, 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 sure. She wants it to go there. But you know, tell us a little bit about first of all the name of your brewery. Yeah, a Sound Growler Brewing. We're from Tinley Park. We've been open for six years. Okay. Um, yeah, and we got lots of good beer and a full running kitchen, really great tacos and stuff. So you know, my hats off to you. The fact that you have a full running kitchen because a lot of breweries, microbreweries, do not. Yeah. Uh, was that in your plan from the beginning? Or? Um, I believe so. We did open up with a full kitchen uh, intended. Okay. So hats yeah, off from you, day so. one, we've been serving beer and tacos, and those are the two things that they really focus on and hone in on, and uh, that's their niche, so. Okay, yeah. that's good. And I believe this is Mexican Independence Day 
weekend yeah, too. So those tacos will just ride right great at the Oktoberfest. Very important it's weekend. Very important weekend. Yes, okay. and it's Oktoberfest weekend. How can you miss? I mean, we got every nationality going on yeah. here. Uh, quickly, what do we have on tap today? And uh, something unique for Oktoberfest? Yeah, we have our Sound Fest, which is our Oktoberfest beer, and then okay. we have uh, Jaguar Elixir, which is a pale ale. Okay. Yeah. What do you find in your establishment? Is there a, a go-to beer that most of your clients like, or do you, do you just keep a variety going? Or? Yeah. Um, our orange haze. That's going to be our hazy IPA. Okay. Um, it's light. It's citrusy, um, but it's a little bit dank. Um, so people are really going to like that, even if they don't like IPAs. Okay. Uh, typically, we give people samples of it, and they just love it. So. Maybe it's me, or I'm a little bit goofy, but to me, like hazy beers have so much more flavor. I don't know why. Is that true or is it just me? It, I don't think it's just you. A okay. lot of time, yes, they do. I mean, just very full body taste and uh, even the aftertaste is very fulfilling. That's a depth, you know. Yeah, there you go. So, uh, last question. Do you guys get involved in the brewing room or do you kind of like just do all over stuff at the brewery? Or? Yeah, um, I mean, I'm a sales representative as there well. So, okay. I'm kind of back of house and I get to work a lot with the brewers. Our brewers are Jake and John and they're really awesome guys who make okay. really awesome beer. Okay. Yeah. At this point, I'm going to thank you so much for stepping up. We were kidding around off camera. We were going to throw a history question at her because she's a, just a history buff, but we're not going to do it. <laughs> Although she would love us to do it. You know? I would. <laughs> but stay tuned for next year. Or, you know what? Stop in. Ask her. You see her? Ask her a question. Maybe about what happened in 1492. <laughs> I don't know the answer. <laughs> and if, if you know the answer, don't, don't say anything. We're not sure if she knows or not. So We're not sure. <laughs> she's not sure. Come in. Have a brew. Ask her. You get an answer. Yeah, you guys, find out. You got it. <laughs> Best marketing play I've ever heard. <laughs> God bless you guys. Have Thank a great you so best. Thank you. you as well. Thank Take you. care. <laughs> okay, here we go. Roll Tide. 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 What can I get for you? Yeah, let me get out of your way and get your patrons in here. Uh, I'm going to attempt to go down and get the owner and walk him down here. What do you think, Dave? Do you think that's possible? I, I, I think I'm going to take this beer here and I'm going to follow you. <laughs> that's scary. That's really scary. Okay. Now, we have a big interview coming up, too, uh, that the mayor asked us to do, so we're going to do that shortly, Sounds too. Sounds good. He's on his way. Uh, I'm going to actually go down and get him and talk him down Hey, here. how are you? Okay. Well, happy October I may, I, may, I may need you as a, as a moral support. I'm going to go down and get your buddy down there. Yeah, and, he's on his way. Okay, what's his first name? Paul. Paul, okay. We're going to go get Paul. Well, come let's on. Let's go get him. Okay, you going to go with us? Yeah, come on. <laughs> Is this the guy here, right? <laughs> That's doing okay. You look like some guy that would be named Paul that would be a master brewer. Do I have that correct? No. So my name is Paul, but I'm not a master brewer. Okay. How would you define yourself? Uh, just uh, owner, operator, operator, beer sales guy, delivery boy, all around dude. Yeah. Okay. Like so it, things don't happen unless this guy's on there. Can we walk down to your yeah, we, your uh, your booth down here at the brewery? Uh, no, he's got to go back. Okay. But this is this is that's okay. This is sort of like a man on the street type uh, reporting. I like it. So. Uh, we're going to ask you a few questions about this magnificent brewery you have. Sure. And uh, your team over here, uh, we were here earlier, but they pointed out you were away from the booth, but pointed you out, hey, it's the guy with the orange shirt on. Yeah. And you've been getting closer each time, so you were so close, we just ran up and got you. <laughs> so anyhow, tell us a little bit about Nick and Ivy. So we uh, we just hit our three-year anniversary. Terrific. Uh, at the end of August. Um, just me and my wife that own it and run it. My wife's still a teacher, so she uh, she does that full time, obviously. So oh, yeah. my, kind of my thing that I do is like a full time gig is, is run the brewery. Um, we hired a brewer though, so I get, like I said earlier, I'm not the master brewer. We uh, okay. I was just kind of that guy that was like drunk and wanted to open a brewery one day. And <laughs> I started like doing a little research and reading yeah. a book and listening to podcasts, and eventually, before I knew it, I was signing a lease. And, you know, the rest wow, because a lot of guys I talked to, they started off as, um, they used the expression, bathtub brewers. Yeah, yeah. And then they evolved into this. You kind of did your business plan right out of your head and go, I I'm going to put some numbers together and do this. Yeah, I didn't I didn't have a, uh, any knowledge brewing myself, but um, 
but I had run a business before. Okay. And a brewery is pretty. I mean, as opposed to like opening a restaurant or something like that, a brewery is pretty similar. simple. Very similar. Yeah. Well, it's much more simple. Like we don't have hard alcohol. We don't have wine. No food. All there we serve go. is beer and like seltzer and cider. So it's, sure. It's very. If you could pour a beer, you can you can work at a brewery bartending. Okay. You know what I mean? You don't have to have like a huge knowledge of of cocktails and food menus and stuff like that. And of course the brews you offer, and uh, that brings us to today a little bit, uh, what, are you, what are you offering here at, at this Oktoberfest? Yeah, so we're starting out with the uh, Lochtoberfest. Okay. It's our, uh, it's obviously our, our Marzen for, uh, we're from Lockport, so it's that low hanging. Clever name, we, uh, everybody. Good marketing. Yeah, we had to take it. Mm -hmm. So anyway, so that we don't, we're almost out of. Wow. Um, and then we'll have a Doppelbach go in that, in that line afterwards. It's like 8%, so we'll see how much that goes. Uh, Delwood IPA is our like our house IPA. Okay. Um, we've been developing the recipe for essentially it was like two and a half years until we kind of locked it into what we have it now. Cool. Um, the vanilla cream ale is another one of our our mainstays. These are like our two flagships. Um, 1853. The name comes from uh, the it's the when the well, town of Lockport was uh, incorporated, but it's also like right around the time the cream ale started. Uh, being brewed, so it kind of took that. Clever tie in there too. Yeah. And then the Fat Mike is our Chicago Lager. Interesting it's, uh, name. <laughs> yes. Yeah, awesome can. Okay, so, so you song. do some canning as well. So yeah, we can. If you come into the brewery, every single beer on tap will be available in 16 ounce cans. Wow. So most of them are generic labels, like we just kind of like a crowd yeah. label. But yeah. We we wanted to do four packs as opposed to. No, crowds. that's a good quality so, aluminum can. I might add too for, to keep your beverage in. Yeah, yeah for sure. So. Okay. Um, Again, uh, I'm glad we caught up with you. I kind of, I'd be remiss if I didn't say I love the logo too. It's oh, a clever idea. You. Was yeah. that, uh, you have somebody do that? Your wife and so I kind of threw that together? Or? The uh, logo was actually done by a girl that used to work for me um, at my old my old business. Okay. Um, she had like her degree in, she, it was a sales job. But yeah, she sort of graphic degree. arts a little yeah. bit there. So I told her I was, you know, doing this and I remember yeah. talking about Make it she happen. likes doing that kind of stuff. And yeah. She did it for a, a free hat. So thank you, Angie. <laughs> <laughs> Angie, did you hear that? They're very grateful here. Yeah, right? was, uh, that was probably the cheapest thing we ever had to get done. Was the, right. was yes, the sir, what so, yeah, she's, she, uh, we've stuck with it. It's the first one we had. And we'll I, it just it. it has good uh, stay, staying power, nice thick yes, bars. It's you know, nice and classic. Good. So. So, anyhow, listen, thank you so much for stepping up. We're so glad we finally caught up with you. Yeah. And uh, you, uh, hats off, you guys do a great product and you have a great booth going on here and have a good fest. Yeah, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Thanks you bet. You bet. Why not? Oktoberfest. <laughs> He's been telling that to everybody. What's, what's an interview with LP Red? It is so hard on a day like this to run into village officials because they're so involved with Oktoberfest 2023 right here in Tinley Park that when you finally get a chance to grab somebody, you do it. And we're going to meet somebody right now. Village manager, right? Yes. Okay, yes, and your name, sir? Uh, Pat Carr. Pat, this has been a great fest so far. You have your second day. The rain is holding off. What are your thoughts? My thoughts are you have an Irishman in Oktoberfest. <laughs> what better thing can you do? You we can't both, miss. We both, uh, you know, like having the beer out there. But, uh, no, we're, we couldn't be more excited for such a, a great weekend. And, you know, it's bringing the whole uh, community out again, once again, with all the events that Tinley Park has. You know, it's funny you should mention that, but we've talked to some folks that are patrons here right now, some interviews and just conversation. We've got we've talked to people from Lansing, New Lenox, uh, Moni. I mean, I could go on and on and on. 30 mile radius around Tinley Park. I mean, what are your thoughts there? I mean, we, we think it's great. I mean, we want it to be a destination. I mean, we're, it's yes, a community sir. event and it draws from the region easily accessible by the train and by the expressway and we welcome everybody to come out here to have a great weekend you know i uh i'm gonna divert for a quick second i talked to the mayor earlier about uh, uh a harmony square or harmony plaza people are really excited about it they're talking about it way beyond the village of tinley uh do you foresee that to be as as big as it, people are perceiving it to be. Oh, absolutely. It's been an over over 20 years in the making from right. the previous administrations trying to make something happen. And we collectively as a team have uh, been able to put it together. Uh, it was built off the hard work of previous administrations. Sure. But, you know, we were able to close the deal and, and get it done. And we're excited to get it to the next generation at Tinley Park. Okay, and uh, believe me, I think the general public is ready for it. And Tinley, of course, is synonymous with with music and you know what you bring to the what you bring to the table. So yeah, absolutely, it's you know life amplified. That, there you that's go. what it's there about. You go. 
both with all of our festivals, our music, and it's all about community. It's about bringing people together, bringing people downtown. Uh, you know, once once all the development starts, you know, we'll be seeing more people down there. I would be remiss if I didn't mention uh, Zambraki Plaza and all the good things that happen over there as well. Oh, absolutely, Zambraki Plaza, sort of the foundation of it all. There you go. And, yeah. uh, you know, we're, we're going to build off of that, sort of the cornerstone of, of all of our events that are going to be happening in the future, and we couldn't be more excited. Okay, so we have one excited Irishman here at Oktoberfest the, of German tradition. I'm going to grab a hand. You Listen, got it. have a great fest. Absolutely, thanks for coming out. You bet. Check us out right here at Oktoberfest, and also we're going to take one more look around right here and check some of the food vendors. Talk to mom. We have some bets going right here at Oktoberfest. Are these girls twins? We're taking a look at them right now. They're all smiles. They're quite pretty girls, and we're going to talk to mom and dad here with mom first. Okay. Hey, Wyatt. Hi. I talk to I, 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 we're going to let the cat out of the bag. Your name and the name of the girls? Uh, my name is Nikki. I'm from Lansing. Excellent. Um, Kelsey is my oldest. Okay. She's actually 16. Yeah. Well, we'll be in October. And Caitlin's my youngest. She'll be 13 in October. Okay. Uh, you had us full. Yeah, uh, yes, they are three years apart. And they are not twins. Not okay. <laughs> Does this happen off? Yes. Okay, and your first name? Chris. Chris. Uh, so how do you deal with, like, no, they're not twins? You just come right out and say it? Or? I'm okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he deep down he wishes he had twins. I don't know. You know. They act like each other they, anyway. I was just so. going to say, I'm looking at two peas in a pod. Right they now. love the same <laughs> things. They are into the same stuff. Okay. So, okay. sisters but not twins. Uh, quick shout-outs. Where do you go to school? Uh, TF South in Lansing, Illinois. Excellent. And you? Memorial Junior High School, Lansing, Illinois. Excellent. Great, great schools. And a shout out for Lansing. It's a Lansing. cool. <laughs> Lansing. It's a cool suburb. And a shout out to Brothership Brewing in Mokina. Okay, there Best we go. Place. Sounds like he's a regular over there. I'm just yeah. guessing. I'm not saying we are. Or not. Bob and Dan are pouring really good beers and they have great stuff going on at Oktoberfest there next weekend. Okay, you see how the truth comes out at Oktoberfest. <laughs> So anyhow, you guys we just talk a little bit. We yeah. just do <laughs> I was gonna get them to tell a story from when they first started going out, but the kids are here, you know. Yeah. So, <laughs> we'll pass on that to the next interview. Yeah. Next uh, people answer that one. Yeah. <laughs> anyhow, this is showing the great time we're having at Oktoberfest, and this family exemplifies that. You guys have a great time, and thanks for stepping up. Thank you. Have a great one. You too. Have a good day. You got the <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, they're really delicious. We have, we have a testimonial how awesome these guys are, so this is good. All right. Uh, you tasted these products before? I did taste the products before. We uh, is there a particular flavor you like? I just had one. I had the lemon. It was awesome. Okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah. How about you, sir? I have not tried it. I'll okay. To... We have a newbie here, so yeah, right. we'll be we'll be confirming him later. <laughs> one night. Yeah. But okay. Uh, we had a sincere promise that they're going to stop by before you Absolutely. close. Absolutely. It's a sincere right. I'm doing. Okay. This. And at that point, we're going to jump into your side, real okay. fast. <laughs> Thanks, folks, for stepping up too. Okay, I get, we didn't expect a testimonial, but we just got it, and uh, the business is nothing but bun cakes? Yes, I am. Kind of tell us about what's going on and what you have to offer. And your name? Uh, yeah, my name is Bob. I'm the owner of the Nothing Bun Cakes, uh, one in Orland Park and one in Mokina. Okay. And uh, what we did is we brought nine different flavors of our standard uh, buntlet size, which is like the size of a softball. Yeah, it's um, a pretty good size. Yeah, pretty good size. They're individually packaged. 
We also have our gluten-free bun cake. And then we also brought our pumpkin uh, spice that we just launched. This Very week. traditional for this time of year. Yeah, pumpkin is a huge seller. It's our number one seasonal really? feature flavor that we okay, have okay. throughout the year. So a lot of our guests are very, very excited about our pumpkin. We have four different sizes of cakes at our bakeries, but this we brought our individual size, which is perfect for a festival like this. I was just gonna say this is absolutely perfect. Uh, yeah. For actually more than a festival, even like uh, some kind of get-togethers where there's giveaways or something. You yep. know, is, absolutely. And if you get any four cakes today, you get a free nothing bun cake cooler bag today. Okay, it looks insulated. It too. is. It is. It's insulated. And it's a really great carrying package, so you can take them home. You can eat them here at the fest. It's really, really a great, uh, a great little package that comes with our product today with Ivory Four Pack. Okay, and uh, you mentioned other sizes. What's your most, the size that's most popular one? Uh, yeah, and in, in, in the bakery. In the bakery, we have the little Buntinis ones, which is like our cupcake really? size one. They okay. sold by the dozen. They're perfect for every kind of party that you can think of, from birthday parties to corporate parties. They're absolutely great. You can customize those on our website and order those ahead of time or come in and grab a box. Um, that's our probably one of our more popular ones. Obviously, this size is very popular. But then we have bigger cakes, like 8-inch cakes and 10-inch yeah, cakes. Those I've seen at and parties cakes, I've attended yes, before. Exactly. Right? Weddings, everything, yeah, you know. Yeah. So it all, we have a cake for every size for whatever your needs might be. Okay. Yeah. Uh, your assistant here is so busy. I mean, I wanted to yes. get her name real fast. <laughs> My name's Grace. Grace, terrific. I love the dimples when you smile. Like Thank you. <laughs> it probably helps business, no doubt. <laughs> she's a great, she's okay. really great. Yeah, she's it. a very nice person. Anyhow, last thing, how long have you been at that location or both uh, of your locations? Okay, so we're just celebrating our nine years in business. Wow. Yep, yep, this week. So today was our big birthday celebration at our bakery. Okay. And then we've been at five years in Mokina. So, um, yep, quite a good history here. And um, this is a great community event here in Tenley Park. Okay, I'm going to throw one more question to Grace. Do you do you have any kind of morning traffic of commuters that they have a cup of coffee from home and, and they want to grab a pastry? Do you have any kind of business like that? Definitely. Everybody always wants bun cake at any time. Really? Yeah. I wasn't sure. That's why I just threw that out there. Because in other words, Dunkin' Donuts and Starbucks, move over, baby. These guys are here. You know what I mean? Thank so. you so much. I appreciate you guys being here. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Grace, for stepping up. Stay with us. We're going to look at a few more spots, and we're not letting this rain scare us away. Hey, it's an October Fest game, guys. Hey. 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 Oh, we have an uh, we, I eventually came up to say, hey, can you guys wave at the camera? But I kind of know what this juicy story is. But I'm, no story. No story. <laughs> no, juicy no, is a no, <laughs> Okay, uh, last thing, what are we munching on over there? Strawberry caramel funnel cake. Oh, that sounds like the dark boy. Okay, is that a regular staple for you guys? Oh, yeah. Okay, and what is the beer of choice today? I have Oktoberfest. Okay. It's a big beautiful wheat. Okay, and you just ran out. What were you drinking? The big beautiful wheat. Okay. okay so you need some more. I need to go get yeah. more. <laughs> and that looks kind of like strawberry ish. What's going on there? That's a raspberry sour. Okay. Sounds interesting and tasty at the same time. It is good. Okay. It must be she's got a smile on her face. So. <laughs> it's, I, one quick question. I'm not going to ask her. Is that her first one or her second one? Or? Yeah. Second. Second, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because it looks like a lot of glasses stacked up in there. <laughs> Anyhow, be good. Thanks for being a good sport. Thank you. All right. Thank you. So, can you do that to the camera? We're talking about wine. Oh, I thought it was a really hot story. <laughs> We love wine, and there are these wines that we put in, and yeah, I get like horrible wine headaches. This is so good. We got to get some first names. This is Lori. Hi, Hi Lori. Hi. Hi. How are you? Okay. And we were talking about what we want. We were talking about wine and hangovers from wine. And hangovers. Okay. And, there's these and how to wine. avoid the yeah, hangovers the from wine. Okay. Wine gives you wicked hangovers. There's no doubt in my mind these two are connoisseurs on wine. They know their way around the labels. And so you notice we're drinking beer today. Well, I've got ice in my 
high white it's wine. It's like a little seltzer there. It's a Riesling, but it's got to be cold. But if they served it warm, it's Okay, like yes. I'm going to jump to it because I'm of Italian descent and I had family members used to make their own wine. Oh. And they drew, they they used to like Zinfandel, very dark and very dry. Oh, I love How about your family? Wine. Well, I'm also Italian, okay. and I was never really into wine, but I went to Italy, and oh. the wine there is so different than it is here, so I shipped a case of it home, and it's just massively better. Okay. It's really good. And then I ran out of that, and now I don't drink wine anymore. I'm not going to ask how fast you ran out. <laughs> And, and some of the labels you like, or the, or, the, or the blend of grapes you like? Well, I love Camus. Camus is one of my favorites. Okay. And I love a Petite Syrah, uh, what else, a Barbera. I love those. Wow. But they give you massive hangovers. So okay. we're talking about those wine wands when you put in the glass. The wine. wine. And if you put in your wine, wine. Yeah. and it, it takes out some it's kind of we can't think of what it is. Toxins or something. And that's the Italian wine. So what do you know about that? We know enough to be dangerous. Last question, because this is so interesting. We're at an Oktoberfest and we're here talking about wine. It's really... Raising a good German wine. There you go. There you go. Yes. I'm going to go back to your Italian heritage real fast. I used to have a grandfather that he'd have all the grandchildren he would mix wine with 7-Up and give it to all of us as oh, children. Oh, yeah. When we were younger, yes. Yes, and, and there was a little kids getting intoxicated. We just developed a palate for wine. Yeah, that's very common and, in yeah. the Italian. And it was very common. Yeah, yeah. 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 absolutely. Okay, thank you so nice much. We will let you. them resume to what they were doing. <laughs> And uh, we can guarantee no no hangovers no at all. No, no, no. They have this down. <laughs> Thank you. you bet. Take care. Enjoy the fest. Let me think for one second. All right, ready? Hold on. Hello, you guys are Haley. Uh, we've been drinking off them October fest. And they park. Yeah. In Tinley Park. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, go. ready? <laughs> Am I good? Okay. Hello, you guys are Haley. I've been drinking off the Oktoberfest in Tinley Park. Rock! Yes, sir. That was a great take. But you know what? To I'm going to grab the mic. <laughs> yep. It's not often we run into talent like this at a fest, you know, so multi multilingual talent. <laughs> I got All something right, to say. Gonna, can gonna, I say something gonna, to the mic? Yes, you can. I'm going to run right over there. We just had a friend of yours ask to take the mic, so. Okay. I only have one thing to say. Okay, go for it. It's there. short and it's sweet. God bless America. God bless our troops. And gentlemen, start your engines! <laughs> That was good. I love this guy because I'm a gearhead too. <laughs> and I'm a patriot. Right there. Love that. So. Yes, sir, baby. Thank God. you. We're drinking. Okay. Someone uh, had to do it. Yes, Someone had to do it. never stop doing it either. Someone's yes, got to do it. You got that? Uh, not that I want to go to the guys first. I'm going to go with the guys. I'm going to go back to the girls. And you are? I am Hunter Valentine. Really? That is such a cool name. Thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> not my month right now, but it's coming up. Okay, okay. Valentine's uh, Day, February. Book it. I used to know a guy named Valentine back in college, but he was a bit of a player, to be honest with you. I don't know. Those yeah. days are behind me. Okay, okay. You know, we're not going to go there either. Right? Okay, we're going to jump to the side. Hopefully we have enough room left. And you, sir? I'm Griffin Lawrence. Griffin, okay. Yeah. Do you like coming out to your October fest? I love it. We're here celebrating my birthday. Really? Yeah. Congratulations Thank and happy you, sir. birthday. Appreciate it. 42 okay. years old. That's true. <laughs> Uh, like I'm not going to go there. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're taking, but keep on taking it. <laughs> and, of course, our talent that we met earlier. I'm Haley. Haley. I'm sorry if we got to get the camera on Haley. <laughs> <laughs> Haley always kind of, like, dominates the camera. There. Yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> okay, we're going to run over here. And you are? Hi, I'm 
Amanda. Amanda, Teach we're gonna how to spin around that way. I got on the wrong side. Yeah. I got on Amanda's bad side. Yeah. Actually, the cameraman's bad side. And what's your thoughts on Oktoberfest today? It's really cute. I like it. Okay. Love the beer too. Okay. It's good. What, what's your beer of choice like? Uh, the Oktoberfest from Arrowhead. Cool. Yeah. I had that earlier. It's really good. It's very good. I like it. Okay, I don't want you to feel bad. You know, the last police. <laughs> So we're gonna run over here. There you go. God, is she on it? Okay, you heard it here. They saved the best for last, and here we go. They do. I also I noticed she bounced off her German off of you before she did it. Was that to, to get the thumbs up? Um, yeah. So she likes to practice her German with me a lot. She's trying to teach me, but I only know how to say nine and Wasser, which is water. <laughs> that looks like pretty far from her home. Right? Yeah. As long as I can say no and water, I'm fine. <laughs> Uh, Rhiannon. Okay, beautiful. Uh, again, you got, oh, by the way, I love your Rolling Stones tongue. Oh, thank you very much. Awesome. Yeah, thank you. Uh, what are you, what's your thoughts on Oktoberfest and what are you drinking today? Um, so I'm drinking the Raspberry Vagrant, also from Arrowhead. Okay, nice uh, color on that too. Yeah, yeah, I'm not a super big beer girl. I hope I'm not. Okay, I hate to admit, uh, but it's it a sour. Power? I hope it's sour. Yeah, yeah okay. I, like, I like sour stuff, so it tastes very good to my liking. Okay, I'm going to hand it to you guys. You're out here, you get little drizzles on you uh, from the rain, and you're enjoying your beer, and everybody's got a smile on your face. This is what it's all about. Yeah, rain or shine, we're doing good. It's just a little bit of God's piss, and we're doing God's work right now. There you go. Let's go. One more, let's put them all in there. The rust. Okay, and to keep it with the tradition at this table, God bless America. God bless America. Oh my god. And I can't believe I can. Does this happen often that all of a sudden like you fade to the back? Never. I, never. This is the first time the and I will not I will not She's forget this. Hysterically. I don't know. I will not forget this. Okay, I I'm gonna get on my knees. I I'm so sorry. We, we inadvertently forgot this beautiful young woman. No worries. Uh, a, no, no worries. She says it's never we'll happened be before. We'll from my lawyer. <laughs> Obviously, her people are calling our people, and we're in deep doo doo. So, but in the meantime, can you enlighten us? Wait, who you are? And my name is Maddie, and I'm here to drink. You sound like you're Irish. I am Irish. Maddie, I yeah. just had that south side. Yeah. Okay. My mom is south side. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm. I grew up in a Southside Irish neighborhood, but I'm actually Italian. Okay. I'm okay. Italian too. Okay, cool. Uh, okay. I didn't say, say Southside Irish, but I figured that wouldn't fit the thing here. <laughs> uh, You're right, I, that almost slipped out just now. I, I, I was about, I was, I Maddie, don't I don't want to take Maddie's time away. You know? <laughs> Come on, I only got one more chance. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, uh, thoughts on October 1st? It's great. Great beer, great people, bad weather. But great time. Okay, but you guys seem like you're weathering right through it. We are. Okay. We have to. They With the it. beers, it's, it makes it easy. Okay. I'm listening to this song and it's something like my older family used to dance to. This was the go-to slow song back in the day. My girl, so if you guys want to get up and dance as couples, we're going to get out of your way. <laughs> Maddie, thanks for being a great sport and forgive me for what I did. Okay. <laughs> Hey, my name is Alyssa and you're hanging with Clem. Don't drop it! There we go. Drop it! I'd like to say you can't win anything here. <laughs> There's no way anybody can win anything here. Okay, okay, we, we, we got it. This guy looks familiar to a little bit. <laughs> I said that was actually me earlier. Okay, did the kids know you have all their toys? Where are all the kids? They know, they know, because I gotta go put them in. Alright, alright, alright. You never folded. We got twisted over here for sure in 2023. We had a great time, did we not? We had a great time, and it's uh, uh, we have a light drizzle going on right now, but it's comfortable. It actually is a reprieve from uh, a nice, refreshing uh, little drizzle. That's true. We had some good drinks, we had some good food, and also saw some great crafts as well as music over here. All of it. It was all right here at the 2023 Oktoberfest right here in Tinley Park, the greatest village in the Midwest. 
One of the greatest villages. I'd say the yes. Midwest is the greatest <laughs> area for entertainment that AC Roddy likes to go You're to. You're right, and we, we, we bringing this to an end for two reasons. One, we've come to the end of our show, and two, our mugs are, our Oktoberfest mugs are yeah, literally that's empty. True. So, because I didn't uh, get something more, but all roads lead to AC Variety. You better and believe You've it. been hanging with Clum at Oktoberfest 2023. Right Any final words? Uh, no, just a pleasure to do another Oktoberfest with you, Clem. It's been a pleasure all these years we've been together doing uh, stuff for AC Variety. And of course, you're the owner and operator of AC Variety. And I thank you so much for letting Jim, me, better known as Jimmy, to tag along with your venture. I do like pleasure as well as do my viewers. So on that note, you've been hanging with Clem at Oktoberfest. And stay tuned and go to acvariety.com because all roads lead there, wherever we might be. So uh, drink up, eat up, and rest up. We'll see you soon. Bye now. And this was done by a very famous entertainer. Thank you.